Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the early access to Unbinary. Yet another game that I was blessed with a key from the developer. It really seems like crossing 1k subscribers really was groundbreaking and I'm getting way more opportunities than before. Though to be honest, giving anything to me is kind of a gamble. No one can be ever certain that I'm gonna like something and it's pretty transparent when I don't. So pretty much everyone that reaches out to me, like I have respect. <laughs> so Unbinary is a puzzle adventure game where you dive into the world of Webby, the super AI that is supposed to control whatever is going on on earth and you are some sort of a guardian to her. Reading this description now, I basically just got it what this game is about. Normally with every gameplay that I do, I don't do much research and read about like I wanted the game to present myself when I'm actually inside it. And that's the first problem that this game has. It doesn't really introduce you to the story or whatever is going on because the pacing is actually off. I felt a little bit crazy playing this, which I mean I am, but for some reason the point of this project doesn't really come across in the gameplay. Aside from that, it has some polish issues such as inconsistent locomotion, invisible walls in weird places, a little bit haphazard subtitles, pretty much stuff that you can work on. I really dig the art style because it's actually hand-painted kind of cell shady sceneries and environments, so that's actually a very big part of the game. It's still in early access so there's an opportunity to smooth out some stuff and take the feedback. Apparently it's gonna arrive eventually on the quest, so I'm very much curious how the finished project will look like. Up until then, let's go and meet Webby. External link established. Autonomous user connected. Loading integrity test. <laughs> Start unbinary protocol. Well, integrity test is not good fun for me. Hi. Is anybody here? Huh? Ah. There you are. You must be the autonomous user, right? Let's enjoy our integrity test. Your only job is to not ruin everything. Am I clear? You just need to walk to the totem and identify yourself. It's not that hard, even to someone like you. System flaws are more than unlikely to happen. I don't want to discourage you, but this test is a complete waste of time. What about this attitude? Okay, so first of all, the voice acting and the subtitles are too slow. The whole pacing is too slow of the game. Credentials accepted. Autonomous user authenticated. This is your first time, isn't it? Start tests immediately. I can't wait for this to be over. First, create a test environment. Okay, let's go. Do we have a personality disorder? There are a couple voices going on. <laughs> By the way, my name is Webby. I'm responsible for this system. And right now, I'm mirroring my data in this environment. Hmm. By the looks of it, all you need to do is reach that upload platform. Hmm, even though we have continuous movement, the turning is snap, so I'm not sure why. <laughs> You'll need an identification for that. This room looks too empty. I must not leave you so lonely. I'll create something to interact with you. No, no, no. There you go. You're not alone anymore. Come on. Say hello to your new friend. <laughs> looks like it doesn't recognize you. An identity! Let's figure out a way to get you an identity! What's going on? Oh. Go on, take the mask! With it, you'll take a new place in this system. Done! Now you're part of the system. Not a nobody anymore! Oh. 
Didn't I tell you? It recognizes you as one of them. Can I now pass or something? Okay. The whole game is very slow. Hot damn. It's done. I just needed to provide an identity for you inside the system. Go ahead and finish the test. Starting upload of data collected by the autonomous user. Proceeding to the next test. <coughs> Uh, someone's flying there. <laughs> I'm just doing things, but I barely know what. Oh well, what a surprise. You already got the rules. Isn't that right, autonomous user? The sooner you finish your part, the sooner we get back to our lives. You do have a life, right? I have to teleport because I can't cross of the sledge. It's the details and polish that I'm looking for. Useful, doesn't it? <laughs> You're sarcastic. The system is operating perfectly. Wait, what, what's happening here? Huh? You are already getting along. Isn't this interesting? Don't look at me. Wow. Now that's a first. Once again, the test was a success. Whoa! Do you really need to be this dramatic? Basic tests successfully finished. Really? I didn't notice. Risk of tampered data samples. Initiating test diversification. Diversify the tests? Do we really need this? I feel like I'm having a bipolar disorder. Very well. Let's try something new. Let's not get bored, right? What's the sound behind the door? Huh? Another system resident. But this one is really different from the first. You unlocked a new identity. So that's what diversification was all about. What about it? Oh, we can climb ladders now. Interesting. Things are starting to adjust themselves. A 
clear sign that my system is evolving. Well, some types seem more suitable for manual labor, right? I'm strong. <laughs> Only a strong identity like yours would be able to get so far. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so confused. Starting data upload. Insufficient results. Insufficient. What do you mean by insufficient? Loading next test. All right, all right. I'm starting to get pissed. From what I can see, there are just a couple of tests. So try not to do anything stupid. Look, one of those nice little guys from the beginning. He doesn't seem like a fan of your new identity. <laughs> Why is that? I'll search my data. Blah, 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 blah. Here! Yeah. Predisposition to acts of violence. Alert the authorities! Suspect subject over here! <laughs> oh, come on. I was just kidding. My database says this is the appropriate humor among humans, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's something almost romantic about hard work. <laughs> oh my god. Moderate failure detected. Moderate failure? Just because the little guy there behaved in a not so much friendly way. Now that's excessive. It was no big deal. Unsatisfactory results will not be tolerated. All right, I got the message. Did you listen, autonomous user? No more failures during the next test. <coughs> I know, I know, we've been here before. Same setting, that's very lazy. Sorry about this. Okay, I think I'm done for now, but I actually think I'm going crazy playing this. It's like the whole vibe is what the hell is going on? Like, what's the point of the game? It's obviously a puzzle adventure game, but with narration that doesn't really explain you in the first moments why we are here and what we are doing. Maybe later on it's gonna be more clear, but it's a little bit confusing at first. Aside from that, I dig the art style. It needs a little bit more time with polish in terms of the correct settings with the locomotion. Sometimes when I close to something, there's like a space between me and the game is like pushing me back for some reason see it's like i would have permanently an invisible wall in front of me for no reason that i can't like reach things the subtitles are definitely too much in your face that it's like getting shouted at i would appreciate something on the bottom more discreet i think if you introduce like levels to the game it should be like consistent not to just get blocked randomly and stop on the ledge you know essentially things that you can improve with time and polish it out it's no problem i'm much more concerned with the pacing and the game being a little bit too slow it's not necessarily because of the genre like puzzles can be dynamic and fluid in experience so we'll see overall i really like when the developers create something from the ground up and doing something unique that's what i support i guess let's just see what's gonna happen when it drops on the quest